Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about yet again, another big news from crypto.com and that is they're increasing their CRO staking rates. So for some of you guys that are crypto.com users, you may have received an email already, but if you haven't heard of it by now, I'm going to lay out the exact details of what crypto.com did, which is they basically doubled the CRO staking requirements in order to stake each Visa debit card. So in this video, we're going to talk about my opinion, whether I think it's bullish news, whether I think it's bearish news, but definitely down in the comment section below, I want to know your opinion. Do you, do you all think this is bullish for CRO? Do you, do you think this is bearish? I definitely want to know your arguments regarding this, so definitely comment down in the section below. And also towards the end of the video, I'm going to talk about my crypto.com visa calculator. So as many of you all know that have seen my video in the past, I have a crypto.com visa calculator which calculates each and every benefit for each crypto.com visa debit card, which is by the way, guys, a public link. So I will pin in the comment section down below, um, project influencers, and then I'm just gonna pin the public link to my crypto.com um, Google Sheets so you guys can use it for your portfolio because it's gonna be different for each and every one of us. So we're gonna dive into my calculator using the, the brand new CRO staking requirements for crypto.com. All right, guys, definitely before we get started, I would appreciate it if you guys give me a thumbs up below. As, as many of you guys know, I'm trying to quit my full-time job so I can do YouTube full-time. Currently, I can only upload one to two videos a week, um, but I really wanna make this into my full-time job, uh, do three, four, five times a week of YouTube videos so I can make content for you guys full-time. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm really close to 1,000 subscribers. Maybe by the time I upload this video, I'll probably, probably write at 1,000 subscribers. So definitely guys, I would appreciate it if you guys help me out. Um, I do plan on giving a little bit of something back to the community once I hit 1,000 subscribers. Okay guys, so I have my email right here pulled up. So we are writing to inform you that we are updating the crypto.com staking requirements effective January 18, 2021. So we have roughly one month since the time they sent this email because in prior news from crypto.com they would typically give us only a few business days so i'm, I'm glad that they're actually give, that they're actually doing this that they're they're giving us a full month in in order to implement this um so that is that is one bullish news from crypto.com is that they're giving us time and also guys if you have already CRO staked so for example for me i have the jade green card and i only need 10,000 CROs because i'm grandfathered in um, I believe currently you need 25,000. So if you have your CROs staked, it's not gonna affect you. It's only gonna affect you if you unstake your CROs after the January 18, 2021 deadline. So if you, if you guys look here, you will not have to increase your card stake and all existing rewards and benefits for your card will remain the same. So guys, as long as you don't stake your, your CROs, you should be good to go. The only thing that's gonna affect you guys, so let's say I have the J Green card and I'm trying to shoot for the Icy White, um, which I probably won't be able to achieve because currently right now, the J Green card and grandfathered in at 10,000 CROs. The IC White, the new staking requirements will be 500,000 CROs. So there's no way in one month I can just jump from 10,000 CROs to 500,000 CROs. It's gonna be a big jump. So for people like me trying to upgrade, it's gonna be quite impossible. So that is quite bearish news for people in the, in the middle of an upgrade. Maybe some of you had, let's say, um, the, the previous rate for the IC White, I believe, was 250. So maybe some of you had 200 and you were really close to, to getting to 250. Um, so it's going to be tough, guys, trying to achieve that 500,000 in about a month or so. So definitely uh, bad news for people that are looking forward to upgrading their card. All right, guys, so let's actually dive into my Crypto.com Visa calculator and let's see how that affects all of this. So currently right now, the price of CRO is just over six cents. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's about 0 0.0643. And I've updated the staking requirements here for each card. So for the Ruby card, we need to stake 5,000 CROs. For the Jade Green card, we need to stake um, 50,000 CROs valued at $3,000, just over that. For the Pink card, we need to stake 500,000 CROs valued at $32,000. And finally, for the black card, we need to stake 5 million CROs valued at $321,000. So right here, guys, in this section, I've put my numbers. You can adjust this any way you want. Again, this is going to be a public link, so you guys can adjust this according to, to your numbers. 
So on an annual basis, I spend about $12,000 per year on my Visa uh, card with, with Crypto.com. So I spend $12,000 a year swiping my Crypto.com Jade Green card. If you guys spend more or less than this, definitely update this according to your numbers. And currently right now, my portfolio for Crypto.com is just under $40,000. I've updated this for my portfolio. Again, update this for your portfolio because the more or less this number is, it, it actually affects the calculations below. All right, guys, so obviously none of the benefits change. Um, again, uh, the black card goes up to 8% cash back, which is amazing. My card only gets 3% cash back. And again, for cash back, uh, that's why I put the annual spend here because the annual spend, if you don't spend a lot on your Visa debit card, then it's not gonna be worth it because you're not gonna get a lot of cash back value. Like for example, from my, from my spending of $12,000, I get $360 back in cash back value in CRO tokens. So for me, my J Green card is valued at $360 according to my annual spending. All right guys, so according to my, sta according to my statistics, um, the actual cost of stake, my J Green card is actually only 2,699. And again guys, it's not really a cost because it's very different from having, let's say, a credit card in the, in the traditional space. Like for example, the Chase Alpha Reserve, you pay an annual fee of $550 per year, but that is an expense you never get back. Yes, there are travel credits, like it has a $300 travel credit and things like that, but at the end of the day, it's an expense. Um, even, even factoring all the credit, you're still putting in $150 per year that you'll never get back. But with crypto.com, guys, this is not a cost. So this is Actually, I should change the wording. It's not really actual cost before staking. It's it's more of um, cost of investment. So you know, for me, the cost of investment for CRO for me is two hundred six two thousand six hundred ninety nine. Because at the end of the day, if I if I if I get tired of Crypto.com as a company, I can always unstake my CRO and move to a different company. So maybe I can go to Celsius. I can go to BlockFi. I can do whatever I want and. Also guys, by the way, you guys have been telling me to, to review Nexo, which I am currently in the process of, of downloading that and getting all my assets in there, just a little bit so I can try it out. So I'm still learning the app, I, I am not familiar with it yet, so once I learn it, once I review it, I'll, I'll definitely make a video of what I think of Nexo. But for now guys, like back, back to my point, so crypto.com, you can always unstake it whenever you want. So it's not like the traditional credit card space where you just pay annual expenses each and every year that you never get back. Again, this is gonna be public link, so you guys adjust this based on your numbers. Like for example, guys, so let's say you have a small portfolio and you don't have a lot. Let's say you have a $2,000 portfolio. Um, it's actually, let's see here. Yeah, so it's actually gonna increase your actual cost of stake. Again, not, not cost, but more of a investment, your, your actual investment of stake. So the higher your portfolio, the better benefits and, and the more uh, benefit you're gonna get from the card. Like, like for my card, after factoring in my portfolio, actually it's only gonna be 1,909. So not 2,699, it's gonna be 1,099 for my portfolio after factoring in my staking bonus. Because for my card, I get 2% extra staking bonus. So for those of you that have the J Green card or above, you get 2% more than, than anyone else. And also, if you have the, the, the IC white and then the black card, you actually get 2% on top of the J green card. So you're getting more of a bonus. So uh, that's why for crypto private, if you have the IC white and black card, you guys earn an extra bonus on top of J green card holders. So for me, my actual cost of stake is 1,909. Um, for those of you guys that have higher tiers, your actual cost of stake is 29,000. 814 instead of the typical 32,150 after factoring in all the benefits. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. And again, I definitely appreciate all of you that stay until the end of my video. It helps with, it, with the YouTube algorithm. It helps with me achieving partnerships so I can make content for you guys full time. And I also wanna reward all of you that stay until the end of my video. So as soon as I breach 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So I haven't really decided the exact details of how I'm gonna do that and how much I'm gonna give away, but I will be giving away a little bit of something. Again, once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm still not a partner. I still have a long way to go before I hit my watch hour. So again, um, I still need quite a bit of watch hours left to become a YouTube partner. So even after hitting 1,000 subscribers, I still won't make any money at all from YouTube. So definitely appreciate 
I definitely would appreciate all you guys staying to the very end of my video. It helps me get over the hump of achieving partnership so I can make this into my full-time job one day. But, but definitely guys, stay, stay till the end of the video. I'll give the exact details of what I'm gonna give away and what you have to do in order to qualify for the giveaway at the end of my videos because it does help my uh, YouTube algorithm. All right guys, if you haven't liked the video already, definitely like down below. It helps with the algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I should be almost at 1,000 subscribers. Maybe by the time I upload this, I'll be at 1,000 already. But definitely guys, I'm so close. So I would definitely appreciate the help and I will give back to, to the community, I promise. All right guys, I'll see you next time.